Well, I could always go and try for the same landing spot I hit earlier. Uh, yeah, it appears as though Lath is tidally locked with uh, Jewel. Okay, so where's my Vapo? There it is. So we will... Which way are we going around? Okay, we're coming around that way. I think I want to go around one more time. I, I missed the opportune, opportune time. One more. Right here. That's midday. There we go. All right. Time for some maneuvering. Oh, great. I gotta do this again. Oh, that's not... That's the wrong ship. Switch to... should burn south, which is 180. Now. And that's dropping my orbital course over my landing site. Hey, what's up, Bolide TV? That's proper. start burning just retrograde now. <clears throat> Come on, ship. Okay, so I'll shoot to undershoot. I'm fine with that. Because the planet's going to rotate some. I'm going to have to fly to this site. But luckily we have engines and such capability. So I'm going to start transferring the liquid fuel into these containers. Four fifty four point twenty eight one ninety four fifty four point twenty eight. Good, good, good. Empty, 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 empty. All right. 
I am turning off the engines. I am turning on the jets. I'm gonna flip prograde and anticipate the atmosphere. All right, this should be fun. You got before you got to run? I'm gonna land and then I'm done. You know what sucks? I haven't even tested the landing capabilities of this ship on Kerbin. And I put these back wheels on because of the pitch that I was gonna have to be doing. I didn't want to snap off one of these engines. This should be really interesting to see how this lands. I have the second wheels up and back a bit so that I can ant I can land at a pretty steep angle if I need to. And just pray that the front withstands the force. Ah yes. Notice that all of the intakes are now well balanced and they are all on. I, uh, I fixed the action groups before I launched. I mean, I actually have air right now. I could start the engines but there's no need because we just need to let the atmosphere grab us and we need to slow down. It's funny, this, I was a little worried about this weight on front, but when thinking about it, most of my weight is shift backward to the back, so having that extra weight on front is actually going to increase my mobility in atmosphere. So we're starting to slow down, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the engines, and we'll assume some sort of stable flight, hopefully. Sight coming up ahead. I'm back. Whoop. So you, it worked? 24,000? Eh. 20. No. Not really. Oh, you had to repeat or. Or you just rolled with it? I just went with it. Ah, yeah. That's the spooky I know. What's up with the front? Decouplers, I mean, didn't you have a decoupler there to decouple? Yeah, the, but that was sorry. what was causing the instability in that first launch. Uh, yeah. So I went oh, and I took okay, it so off. Even, uh, There's just no way, uh, I mean, I'm thinking about it and thinking about it. I mean, I think there is a way, but it would take a lot of, uh, a little bit more engineering and a lot uh, more struts. Yeah, no, not worth it. Uh, you don't have far, so that's not, it doesn't cause any issues, I guess. With far, that that would be a bad thing, very bad thing. Far, what's that? Far, far. It's a long way to walk, matey. <laughs> far. <laughs> oh God. Isn't it? Terra, aerospace. Something. Research. Yeah. Ferrum aerospace research. Yes. Ferrum aerospace research. Just as our might in England says. Yeah. Yeah. Um. 
I'm well Please aware don't call of what me it mate. is. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I bloody hate that term of endearment here in the UK. All right, mate, I don't know you. Bugger off. And we are not mating. Bugger off. Our exactly, mate. yeah. We're not, we're, not, we're not doing it in the back of a car, dogging in the park. It's just go away. Alright, so it looks like I have to fly over it, and then I don't want to land on a downslope. I'd rather, well, do I want to land on a downslope? Let me get down into the thinner throws of the, or into the absolute thickest part of this Atmo. And I'll see what kind of float I can bust. Let's put the gears down just in case. Yeah, that sounds a very good, like a very good idea, really. And then people type it like this, Mech. Oh damn! I just left his damn you back button. <laughs> you and your bloody back button. I swear. <laughs> the flare you have to do on this planet is re. Ridiculous. I've not flown any. The last time I went to lathe was before 2 2 hit, and I'd made a lathe lander, and I never went back, and I really should. Um, and it didn't have wings, so it didn't need to land like that. It was just like a little VTOL pop. Oh. Don't you have parachutes or that? No. I wish. Why? I mean, that, I it's a space you plane, had... not a space ship. Because I actually, before, I mean, I was recovering the vessels on Kerbin, I actually, I, I sent the ship, I sent the plane to get the people on the other side of the planet. I got them, but so with that, you know, I found that on uneven surfaces, the best thing is to use a parachute just before you land mm -hmm. and make sure everything's strutted well together because I tried like 10 times. It was like You'd the beginning like. of me. You'd like an add-on I've got, uh, real sh shoots. It gives you drag shoot, not drogue, drag. No. Yeah. And they, really don't, nice. they don't close until after you hit zero speed. They're good for landing planes. I've got to be back in a second there. Uh, I've got to get freckled cookies out of the oven. It's awesome, but it doesn't come with huh. a tree. Don't tell us. We're watching. Huh. We're watching for explosions. It worked, and it used the back wheels. Yes! I have a space plane landed on late. Good job. That was a nice landing. Just make sure that you don't hop too much. That was my issue because it would hop and hop and bam, crash. So I'd lose the parts, you know. Now that was that was a very nice landing. I think it's funny, you landed on late and my son's just starting to go, no, he didn't fail. <laughs> <laughs> That was a spectacular win. Your son is thinking like a Kerbal. I swear I should just buy him a copy of Kerbal and then let, let him stream for a day and see how he does. We're gonna go drive over and see the other space plane. We should do it. Send him to me, Matt. I'll teach him everything he needs to know. No, I'm gonna teach him. <laughs> yeah, congrats, you know, space plane on land. Thank you. I that's that's a, the first time I've ever done that. Yeah, it, it, it's a very well done thing. But, you know, Spooty, I knew you could do it. After that <laughs> landing on takeoff on EVE, you know, that horrible stuff, you can do this. Tanuki's laid down a challenge, buddy. Uh-oh. VTOL to lay. Oh. Ooh. VTOL plane to late. I could turn this into a VTOL. VTOL SSTO or just VTOL? And you know, using the ring and everything. Well, this this plane I could easily turn into a VTOL. Easily turn this bugger into a VTOL. Well you could always just ask the god of SSTO. So Who is? <laughs> it's right, if you I put the was. word Sivos into the chat on my stream. Nightbot sits there and goes, who, who named that? Who named the god of VTOL SSTO? <laughs> I gotta try that now. Going to your street. street. To this day, I, think I don't Nightbot know who put that in. Be hovering. Sorry, was that Siv? I cut straight across top of you. I do apologize. But... I, I don't know who put that in there. 
I don't because normally it will tell me who created the command and it just says moderator. Uh, well, because I know Sivos... I didn't. Hmm. Exclamation Thivos works, but it just gives the Twitch. No, link. no, no. Just put Thivos. Just... No, doesn't uh, doesn't doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. Lowercase works. Uppercase doesn't. Weird. Yeah, you have to put individual commands depending on case, and it's just a pain in the ass. And I've never got around to putting the actual one. It says OMFG. Who said Sivas? The God of Vitol SSTO. <laughs> I mean, that right. sounds like Sivas putting it there, though. But I don't know. No, it really wasn't, because when he came into chat one day and it said it, he was like, what the hell? Damn. I think there's a couple of others as well. Um, puts Cucumber. Do not say what it says out loud in Spooky's <laughs> chat. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny for me, even if I don't get to hear what it says. No, no, no. in my chat, <laughs> Neo, in my chat, you don't nine times out of ten need the explanation point. Most things are done so they'll appear without you asking. Oh, so I just put in Cucumber? All right, that sounded dirty. Yes, yeah, so you put it wherever you want it. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh... <laughs> There's a but... couple on my chat like that, and I'm not quite sure where they popped up. It's got to have been one of my mods, and I'm not sure who did it. It doesn't work. The, the cucumber doesn't work if I just type it like that. I mean, That's probably weird. because I'm not a mod. Maybe. See what's worked, though. Yeah, Sivos will be an open one. Cucumber isn't. Oh, that's why. I think wow. that actually came about when I was streaming with Spooty on the on the voice, and someone mentioned something about cucumbers and uh, Spooty. Yeah. I think it was you or Sivos. It was gone. It was recently. I remember. It was recently. I remember. It was something, something to about... do with those those um, video clips that are voiced by the guy who sounds like Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Yeah. Morgan Freeman. And there was one to do with the sea cucumber, and it was like, ah, uh, no. You should put something for Morgan Freeman, seriously. Check that out. Two space planes. Fancy that they would meet on this planet. <laughs> oh, one's winking at us. Isn't there a natural habitat? Sea planes come too late for. Doesn't appear as though their nose cones are compatible. They may be two different species. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> that is a shame. I wonder though. <laughs> oh no, do not. Can I get them I... to mate and give the fuel of one to the other? Does one you have might fuel? Try. If you put the landing gear down on the nose and the back of the one on the right, maybe it might just be low enough to reach the one on the left. I don't know. That, what so you're the one with only a single abomination. It's blasphemy. It's abomination. It's too bad you don't have two seats. You could have brought back one. I purple. was just thinking that. Why didn't I put a command seat on the top of this damn thing? And then I could have brought back both Kerbals from one plane and then sent my fun refueling mission that I wanted to do anyway. 